Kings chapter 6. Looking for your recursion for recursion method. Alright. So make sure you know the concept. Alright, concept. Okay. So the exam area is basically you need to write a recursive method. Okay. So problem will be given to you. Alright. And you have to find the solution. Alright. The solution you have to implement. Okay. Using recursive function or recursive method. Alright, so this is the exam area that you have to go through. Okay. Okay, so here when I say implementations mean you have to write your uh, code because we are looking at Java coding. Okay. Functions, huh? Alright, 
So this, you must have your stopping case. Alright, then you must have your recursive call. Alright, so don't forget have the call itself. Alright, so that is the function, okay, for recursive call. So this is how you write a function. So remember a solution, a problem can be anything. Your solution you have to implement using a uh, recursive method. So you must have stopping case, you must have your recursive call, alright, your functions, alright, you have to write it with a, uh, a name that you can use to recursively call the function itself again and again, alright, okay? Alright, so what do you need to take a look? Alright, so our sample code, all right, and also your practical six, all right, sample code, practical six, okay. So now let's take a look at practical six, all right. So first, Okay, 
So this is how I recursively set the value in order to find out what is the greatest common divisor. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one, recursive array. This is to print a value. Alright, to print value, how you call recursively. Okay, the array is there, then how you print it. So this one, you have to take a look. This is for a list, so maybe list no need number, right? Simple list, okay? Alright. Okay, so any code from the slide, okay? Let's say you have factorial, go through it, okay? Now, beside that, Okay, suppose if I want to find out um, recursively, okay, if I want to find out recursively, if I want to sum a value, alright, sum a value, uh, not sum a value, uh, In sum a given numbers, all right? How you recursively do that, okay? For example, we used to have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, okay? How I want to sum all this value, all right? Until n. What is the value? Okay, how recursively I can do. Alright? So what if a value is given? Alright? Let's say a value is given. Alright? So what is the sum of these values? So 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 5. What is the value? How I can recursively? Okay? How I can recursively find the total value of this num number. Okay, summer. So please go through those parts. So here, very important thing is your coding. Alright, coding. Okay. Ah, here. Right, quotes. Okay. You will have solution, uh, you will have problem, you need to find out solution. Solution will be in terms of both. Alright, so that is for your recursive. Alright. Okay, so go through all these uh, concepts, okay? okay example on data, alright, so you can go through here, alright? So this part you just go through them, alright? So you have uh, exercise 6.3 Okay, so these are the areas that you have to pay attention in terms of coding.
Okay. So chat, do you have any question on recursive? Now, here you have to do a box trace for this question, a eh? box trace. What is a box trace? Right? Of course, bo box trace is you draw a box, you trace the recursive column. Alright, so here, this is your recursive call. This is your recursive call. Alright, and here is your output. Alright, so here you will have your value. Alright, and then you will have your argument. Okay, each box you will have your n value and your argument. Now, argument here will be your recursive column. Alright. Okay, so now answers for this is how? For the questions, huh? Alright, so your passive question, answer, this is what we want to do, okay, what we want to do here, answer, I think we did in class,
This is your regressive function n equal to 3 sum series n minus 1 eh? n minus 1 so it's n minus 1 plus 1.0 divided by n okay so now we have to perform our recursive method so the next box Alright, so n now will be equal to 2. 3, la, 3 minus 1 is 2. So now sum series 2 minus 1 plus 1 plus 0 divided by 2. Okay, what is the value? Now first we have to find out what is my n equal to 1. Alright? So based on the question, if n equal to 1, written what? What do we have to return? 1. Okay? So return 1. Okay? So we return 1. So my return value Okay, my return value will be what? 1. So here is 1. Alright, answer for this is 1 plus 1 divide 2. How much is this? 1.5, right? Yeah, okay. So now I have to return 1.5. So here this value is 1.5 plus 1 divide 3. Alright, so 1 divide 3 is how much? 0 0.33. Yeah? So my value will be, my value will be the 1.833. No? So this is how I have to draw it. Okay? So the answer for this To write a code, uh, do the box trace. Okay? Alright. So now let's move on to the most important part. <coughs> okay? Chapter 8. Alright? Chapter 8 and 9 first. Alright? So let's take a look at chapter 8. We'll do sorting. Sorting is basically arranging our element in a certain order. Okay? Pay attention to just three sorting. Bubble sort. Selection sort. And insertion. Okay? The rest you can drop from Okay? Now, let's see bubble sort. What do you do with your bubble sort? Okay? Move the largest to the end. Okay? Your selection sort. Move the smallest the front. Okay. Insertion. Okay. Insertion. Insert the 
smallest into no not smallest insert the next element into the correct order okay all right yeah so example if you have a number a bubble saw. How to do a bubble saw. Alright. So, my first thing I have to do is I check bubble saw. Huh? Let's do bubble saw. So, I check adjacent value and see they are in correct ascending order. So, it looks like okay, Two and five in the net, wrong order. So I move my two. Okay? Now I will have five here, four here. This adjacent. Okay? I check five and four. Okay? Remember, I have to bubble the largest value to the end. Okay? So now four I will move. So now here five and three. You understand what I'm doing? So, of course, 3 is here, 5 and 7, they are in correct order, 7 and 1, they are in the wrong order, so I put seven, uh, 1 here, 7 here, alright? So, now what happened? Okay, so I draw a line, alright? Then, of course, I will indicate this is sorted. Alright? Okay? So, the next round, okay, 2 and 4 is in correct order. Okay? 2 is in correct order. 4 and 3, yep, switch. 4 and 5, okay, 4 is in correct order, 5 and off 1, okay, 5 and 1, they are not in correct order, 1 goes here, okay, 5 is in correct order, there you go, so now, this 2 is sorted. Alright, yeah. Alright, so the next one, correct order. This and this in correct order. Four and one is not in correct order. One, four, five, seven. Is that correct? Okay, so here these now are sorted. Okay. Now let's go again. Two is in correct order. Two and three. One and three are not in correct order. So swap. Four, five, seven is in correct order. So this is sorted. Alright? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, next is because this is not correct order, I swap three, four, five, seven. Now these are sorted. Okay. Now should I end here? Loop sorted. Alright. Now we already swap one and two. Okay. Bubble sort. You have to do it until there's no swapping takes place then only it's considered see now i'm writing no swap then only it's considered sorted be careful with bubble sort 
the minute you don't have to swap then only it's sorted so this is end of pass one pass two three four five five and six okay all right now for exam tips uh, draw the table nicely label it correctly all right so you can label this as end of parse one write down nicely okay indicate of course you cannot use highlighter and all that for your exam okay you draw a box indicate this is sorted okay this two is sorted this three is sorted must write the word end of class two clearly all right this is what you have to do and here you may say bubble last one huh? bubble okay last one you can write not necessary but you can write sorted with bubble so okay But this is not necessary, but make it neater. You can write the last line. Okay? So, last line, you can have a space left. Okay? You give a space. Okay? So, this is like how you do it in exam. Okay? Now, let's do the same thing. Alright, for our selection sub. Okay, how are we going to do for selection sub? So, five, five swap with what? One. one. Okay, so one here. Two, four, three, seven, and five. Alright? Direct swap. So here, this, this value is sorted. Okay? So next is, I'm going to take a look at two. What is the smallest value for two? No smallest value, next smallest value. So one and two is sorted. Okay, so now let's take a look at four. Okay, what is the smallest value? You can see three, four, seven, eight. Sorry. This is sorted. Okay? So next. Alright, what is the smallest value? One, two, three, four, seven, five. These are sorted. Next is one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Okay, so now these are sorted. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, next is our insertion sub. All right. 
So I have five and two. Uh, five and two. All right, five and two. All right. So five comes after two or before two. Of course, we have to take two and we have to insert it in correct position. Okay. And four, three, seven, one. Okay. Next. All right. We're going to take a look at four. All right. So we have to insert it in correct position. Two, four, and five. Three, seven, one. So we insert into correct position. Now let's take a look at three. So two, three, four, five, seven, one. So you insert three in the correct position. Okay. Next is seven. Two, three, four, five. Seven and one. Okay, you insert seven in correct position. Okay, and finally we have one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, sorted. All right, okay. So this is how you do sorting, okay? For sorting, make sure, take a look at the steps, okay? And your illustration, okay? Illustration here, of course, passing of the elements, okay? So make sure you label it, all right, label it. Make sure you have an indicator for sorted, okay, element, okay. So sorted element is here, like, you know, I told you to underline, right? So indicate, all right, okay. So this is the main areas okay so let's do some question Take a look at this question here. Twenty-five with four. 
Pause four will go here. Twenty five with twelve. Twelve will go here. Twenty five with twenty two. Twenty two goes first. All right, and then eighteen. Twenty four and twenty five. So twenty five is the largest value. All right, and this is sorted. We did one swap. Okay, so now we check 4, 10, 12, 15, 18, 22, 24, 25. Now it's sorted. Okay, you cannot stop here because we did swapping for this and this. Alright, understand? So now from here to here, there's no swap, right? Because there's no swap, it's considered sorted. So if you stop halfway, then you'll have maybe two marks here, two marks here, two marks here. These two marks you will lose, all right? These two marks here, two marks here, you lost. Okay, so now to write it again, 24, 25, sorted with bubble, so, okay. Alright, then. Maybe we can check some old questions. Alright, so here, alright, question, this question, alright, so array is even, alright, now, 
event the above array demonstrate how a binary search can be performed, indicate all the necessary operation needed to be performed using algorithm or pseudocode. Now, binary search can be performed only on sorted data. Is this data sorted? Right, it's not sorted. Okay, so as such, you have to write an algorithm to sort this data first. Okay, so in this case, they clearly indicated algorithm and pseudocode. Okay, so you have to write a, a, a sorting algorithm. Okay, in this case, okay, sample is selection sort. Okay, so you have to write the algorithm. Okay, this is not the code, no? a simple description algorithm uh, to indicate how a selection sort takes place. Okay, for your exam area, go through the steps illustration. All right. So this is one way we can ask. Okay, and here. All right. Explain whether a binary search can be applied on the above list. Can we apply it? Two marks only. No. Just indicate why. All right. Why? Because the array is not sorted. Okay. So let's perform selection sort. Okay. Two, one, six, four, three, eight, five. All right. So let's do selection sort. Okay. How do you do selection sort? All right. How do you do selection sort? So we are looking at the first array element first data. Then we're going to look for the smallest value. Is that correct? So then we're going to swap. Okay. In this case, 1, 2, 6, 4, 3, 8, 5, and 7. Alright. So what is sorted? 1 is sorted. Okay. So the next element that we're going to take a look at is 2. Okay. So 2 is in sorted array. Alright, sorted. Next is 6. 6, the smallest element is 3. Correct? So 3 is 6, 4, 8, 5, 7. So what is sorted? This element is sorted. Okay, next is 1, 2, 3. What is the smallest value here? 4, 6, Alright, so this is sorted. Alright, so next value is smallest. Alright, next smallest value will be 5, 6, 8, and 7. So this is sorted. Next is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The smallest value is 6. This is sorted. Finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Alright, so now all is sorted. So don't forget to write... Okay, don't forget to write and of pass one. All right, okay? Pass two and so forth. Okay, and then the finishing line. Okay, sort it with selection. So, but that line won't 
give you marks. Just, just write it down for me. Okay? Alright? Write neatly, write nicely, the numbers, separate them nicely so we can read it. Okay? So easy to mark, but don't make a lot of mistakes. Okay? Alright? So same values, now we have to do insertion. Insertion. Alright, for insertion, how we do? Alright, for insertion, hey, two and one. Okay. Two and we are looking at two and one. So one, two, six, four, three, eight, five, seven. Correct, huh? So this two is sorted. Alright, next element we have to take a look at is six. So one, two, six, Four, three, eight, five, seven. So this three is sorted. Next element is four. One, two, four, six. Are you following? All right, Anna. Three, eight, five, seven. So this is sorted. Next is one, two, three. Four, six, eight, five, seven. So next is three. So this is sorted. Then one, two, three, four, six, eight, five, seven. Sorted. Next is five, one. Next is five, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and seven. This is sorted. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sorted. Okay. Yeah. So this is our insertion stop. Now in exam, don't do side by side like this. Yeah? Do like, you know, first question, second question like that. Okay? This is to show you how it looks only for your exam. Take space, a lot of space to write. Okay? If you need to take one whole page, take it. You, you paid for the exam, right? Papers included. Okay? Your binary search, okay? Binary search, or oh, not binary search. Search. All right, just go through concepts, okay? Concept of your linear search and your binary search. Recursive usually uh, we apply it for our sorting and 
the genia. Um, so that part, you don't take a look at it, huh? All right? So I narrow it down for you already, yeah? Okay? Okay, 
bank check. A is before or after. A2 is before or after. Check from the root. Okay? Okay? Understand how to create? Any question, let me know. Okay? Now, or. Okay, or. From given orders. So given orders will be given orders will be your pre order with in order or in order with post order. So these are the two ways that a uh, question can come out for you to draw the tree. Okay? How do you construct a tree? Value is given. From the value, you draw the tree. Another one is, of course, based on the traversal order. Traversal order means they will give you pre-order and post-order or uh, sorry, pre-order and in-order or in-order and post-order. Pre-order and post-order is quite difficult to come up with it. For exams, you know, they will just keep it to this. Okay? Alright? Okay. Now next is your traversal. Okay? You need to know your pre-order in-order Post order. Alright. So of course we need to read our root, root, and root. Okay. So we need to read the root, then the left, and right. Okay. In order you read left and this one left, always start with left, okay? Left and right and root, okay? So make sure you know where's the root. So if pre-order, in-order is given, you know pre-order root is right in front. Whatever value there, that will be your root, okay? Alright, so if you have in order and post order, whatever value at the back, that will be the root. Okay, so in order, when you can find out your root, whatever at the left is on the left subtree, whatever is on the right is the right subtree. Got it? Okay, so when we want to add, alright? You can add, okay, if duplicated value in my tree, I already have five. Say lah. If I want to add five, eh, you have to add in the right or add in the left. Which one? Right? Left? Like this, five. Alright? You can write on the right and the left. It's alright. Okay? Okay, it doesn't matter. Unless if we have any value here, then you have to decide. Okay? Now, so add, remove. No, add is no problem. Alright? Okay? Always check. Check from the root for placing the value. Now for remove, okay, for remove you have few things. Alright, remove the if node, just simply remove it. Remove with one child, 
All right. And then remove with two children. All right. How do you remove with two children? Okay. So these are the things that you have to take a look at it. Okay. Sorting. Sorting. We already did earlier, but I will show you how it works. Okay. Now, as long as you know these areas, then you are safe. All right. If you don't know how to do any of these, then you are in trouble. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the question. Okay, let's take a look at this question. All right, so this question, you have to construct the binary tree from the traversal order given. Huh? Okay, 
So now, what do I do? Okay, now what do I do? If I take a look at my post order and I read from right to left. Okay, so my first value is 3. Now I know my 3 is here. Is that correct? Okay, so my 3 will go into my root. Okay, if this is my root, here will be left, this will be right. Okay, there's no other value, no pairing, just single digit. Okay, single digit, you just draw it left to the right. Okay. Next, seven down, six down, next is two. All right? So where is two? Oh, two is here. So two is my root. This one will be left. This is my root, huh? left and right. So on the right, I know five is there. Okay? I made it single digit, huh? I immediately draw it. But now I have, okay, two digit. I'm not sure which one will be the root, okay? So five is done, next number is four, okay? I know here I will have four and eight, is that correct? Okay, so five is already half its position, four. So four will be my next. So now this is my root, left and right. Left, there's nothing here. So it's now, right is A. Got it? This is how we do it. Okay? So after that, after you finish writing a drawing, remove all this. Okay? Remove. Leave it there. Okay. All right. Now, exam tips for drawing tree. Okay. Now, when you draw your tree, okay, make sure. All right. Make sure when you draw a circle and put the number in. Don't put numbers like this. This is wrong. Okay? Yeah? So you must draw a circle and put the number in. If they are in same level, try to write it in the same line. Okay? Write it in the same line. This one you see, it's not even looking nice. Okay? So each level, write it nicely in the same line. Okay? So four, five, you see here six, too close already, right? You see this part here too close? So you erase it, redraw again, make some space here in, the, in this part here, make space bigger, okay? When you write your arrow, the path, huh? okay? Don't do this, okay? Two. I don't know whether it's left or right. Okay? Don't do that. <laughs> don't write this way too. Okay? Make sure you write it correctly. You draw it left and right. Okay? Uh, so these are the things that you have to pay attention to. Okay? okay? Now, when you draw these kind of things here all, Maybe erase it all. Alright, just have a clean uh, binary tree. Okay? Okay? So this is passive question. Alright? Okay, let's do another one. This is a very, very long, long numbers, big one. Okay? 
So you guys know how to do, you want me to skip? Alright, you want me to do this? Then yes, yes. Okay. Now, we have in order and pre-order. So for pre-order, where's the root? Where's the root? Okay, our pre-order, where's the root? Root is in front. Okay, so root is in front. So, what is it? It's 25. Alright. Then, you can check in order 25 with here. Alright. 25 with here. Okay. So, 4 to 24 will be on the left sub 3. 25 to 90 will be on the right sub 3. Okay. So, trying to finish this up is quite, quite big. Huh? Right, so I want you guys to finish this up on your own. You can send it to me, I can check for you. Okay? Now, next thing I want to do is this question. <coughs> this question. Value is given. Alright? Value is given. Then you have to draw the. Okay? Then you have to your tree. Okay? Take a look at the alphabet. Ah, this one you must know your ABC now. Alright? Okay? You must know your ABC. If you don't know your ABC, then we call your officer. Okay, 
So R is one child. G got two children. Okay, how are we going to remove? Okay, if I want to remove this, I take their child and put it to my grandparents, the parent of R. Okay? Alright? Now, for G, I can go to the left or I can go to the right. If I go to the uh, right, uh, sorry, left, I choose the largest value. Okay? If I go to the right, I choose the smallest value. Right? Okay? So how how it's going to look? O X and B. Alright? One charm. So now two charm. D one answer. This is the left side. I can also choose the right side. X B I can have okay, like this. remove it. Alright, so now for our traversal order, pre-order, in-order and post-order. Alright. We got to read. Okay. So I'm going to read in terms of a pre-order, in-order, and post-order. Alright. Okay. This value, uh, we need to read it. So this is my tree. Okay, this is the tree. This is the tree. Now I need to read it. Which tree? We have to read question A. Two. Sorry, question A two. Question A two. A2 is after removing it. So this one or this one. Okay? Ready? Okay, after removing it. So let's use this to read. Okay, this is for A2. So let's read using this. Okay, what is my pre order? Pre order root left. And right. Root O. Correct. I go to left first. D. Is that correct? Okay. 
pen eh, by free order my road is in the beginning in order so in order i read my left root and right so here i have to go all the way to okay that correct then d Post order. Can okay, you guys tell me post order for this diagram? This diagram. Oh, oh binary tree. Sorry. C. A. D. Mm -hmm. B. X. And O. order in order and post order you know it is root left and right you know this correct all right no problem you know this okay now how about in terms of coding coding and practical Take a look at these. Okay, don't worry about the entire code. Just look at your traversal coding only. Right? Your traversal code.
take a look at this goat. Now, this is a root for pre order. Huh? Root, left, and right. Okay? You enqueue your data. Alright? Then you look for your left foot, your sub tree here. Yeah? Tree node on the left or tree node on the right. So this is the order in terms of coding. Right? So if it's in order, Alright, in order, so what is our in order, we read our left, root and right, so my root, my in Q, three, note, data, and in order, Here I will have in order three node right. You see it? So now my root is in my root is in the middle. Root is in the middle. Alright. Okay, now my toes order. My post order, my Q in Q will be at the back. Okay, you write up. Huh? Then I will have post order three nodes on the left. This one will be three node onto the right. Okay. So these part in this only you need to check in terms of coding. Right? Okay. So here your root is here. Alright, okay. Yeah? So that is for on coding. Okay. So to to revise back, okay, make sure you know how to construct table, a uh, binary tree, sorry. It can be a given value or an order given, okay. Make sure you know how to traverse, okay. So your pre-order, in-order, post-order, okay. So this traversal can happen uh, in term of tree is already given or you already constructed the tree and then you have to read the value all right so the traversal order okay you need to read it for or from the tree okay so once you read the traversal order then you may require to sort it. So that's usually how the question will be now. Okay? And don't forget to add and remove. Adding is quite easy. Right? Removing, you have to check in three conditions. Leave one child and two children. How do you remove it? Okay? So this is the basic idea. Okay? We went through some questions. Okay? Right, how to construct okay so we can take this value here for example pre-order okay and then you need to sort it okay so let's see here if the question asks you to sort okay this question no sort Right, there are some questions that you have to take. For example, you see, once you traverse, then you have to sort it using bubble sort. Alright, so that's very important. Okay. Three, chapter eight, 
chapter 9, chapter 10 is one area reading together. Okay? Question will come as one question. Okay? Now, last one. Okay, hashing. Okay, hashing, go through concepts. Alright? Simple theory, concept. Okay, when I say concept, just go through what is hashing. Okay? What is hashing? Alright? Next one is how. Okay, how to look. Okay? And when you read how to, you will come across what it calls hashing function. Alright? What is hashing function? Okay? So you will have types, okay, different types. Remember, we need our modular, that is one type, okay. We modular, is it? Get the remainder, right? Okay. So, uh, just have uh, 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 examples uh, how to do it, okay. And what are the things that you have to consider, consideration? Okay. Now, do you have to go through all these calculations? No. Model. Okay. So, hash code, what is hashing? Okay. Dictionary, no, doesn't matter. Right? Okay, go through this part, these slides. What is hashing? What is hash function? Okay, what is the perfect hash function map A? Use a hash function. Alright, uh, slide. Of course, you go through everything. Okay, by time area 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. What did I say? 18 to 15 to 18. 15 to 20. Alright. Very basic. Ah, this is one example. 22. Now, remember we did all these calculations. Alright. Collision. Alright. Collision all, no need. Okay. Just basic function only. Alright. Okay. So, basic uh, slides. Huh? Basic only. Go through basic stuff. Alright. Other than that, hash is less than 10 marks question, huh? Okay, so that's that, okay? Um, very unfortunate news is, don't know what happened with the laptop, what my son did is, remember last class, uh, all the drawing I did, it's sort of lost. <laughs> so I don't have previous whatever I told them uh, to upload. I don't know what my son did. It's gone. What I will do, I will try to do is that rewrite whatever it is again. And if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. I will put it up in your Google Classroom. Okay? Alright? So that's the thing. Yeah. See, this is where it was, right? So it's all deleted. I can't see. Empty. I don't know what my son did uploading all these, then all gone. Okay? 